an unsuspecting married couple arrives for a picnic in a remote area out in nature. They are serenely enjoying the fresh air and fruit. Suddenly the woman senses that she is about to give birth. Her husband quickly grabs his things and hurries with her to the car. They forget to pick up the blanket and food in their hurry. Meanwhile, the forest's insects continue to live their lives. Three little ladybugs hatch under one of the leaves and immediately fall to the ground. Their parents fly up to the babies. They teach the children to spread their wings and take to the air. At first, the ladybugs are bad at flying. One of them falls on a rock, legs up. But soon, the babies begin to repeat after their parents and understand better and better how to fly. The family flies over the grasses and the river. Suddenly one of the little ladybugs hears some controllable laughter in the bushes and strays away from her family. Her curiosity makes her fly further and further into the forest, following a little fly, which continues to laugh gleefully. The fly sits on a stump, and the ladybug lands next to it and wants to get acquainted. Immediately, four large flies fly up to them. They surround the ladybug and buzz menacingly. The frightened ladybug jumps up and tries to escape its attackers, but the flies are relentless in their pursuit of the victim. The ladybug does not calculate her strength, hits a rock, and falls into a crevice. One wing falls off. The flies circled over it for a bit longer but soon flew away. The ladybug comes to her senses and tries to fly, but it is almost impossible to do so with just one wing. The evening comes and it starts to rain. The ladybug gets out of the crevice and calls for help, but no one comes. The lone bug wanders through the open, looking for shelter from the rain. It hides in a sugar box left by people, where it spends the night. In the morning, the ladybug wakes up to a loud buzzing sound. It looks outside the box and sees countless caterpillars, beetles, and bugs scattering human food to their homes. The flies take the chips. The bedbugs share the cookies and a box of matches. But soon after, they drop the matches and run for other treats. Nearby, a group of black ants passes by. Their leader smells sugar and rushes towards the box. Seeing it, the ladybug climbs inside the box. The ant doesn't notice the ladybug. He sniffs the sugar and tastes it. One bite makes him go into complete ecstasy. He spits up with pleasure. The ant signals his fellow ants to drop everything and run to the box. The other ants do just that. They gather under the box, pick it up, and carry it toward their anthill. So the ladybug goes on a long journey. Soon the ants tilt the box, and the sugar cubes fall on the ladybug. She tries to hold on, but when the ants throw the box off a rock, the ladybug falls out and does not feel too hot. The ants collect the scattered sugar and try to help the victim. At this time, a lizard notices the bugs. It climbs up behind a rock and lets out a predatory battle cry. The ants hide behind pieces of sugar in terror and tremble. The lizard gets close to the leader of the ants and prepares to eat him. But the ladybug comes to her senses, quickly climbs into the box, and makes noises from inside, immensely frightening the lizard. The predator runs away and hides between the rocks. The danger has passed. The ants gather around the box and talk to their savior. The ladybug explains that she cannot fly. Then the ants offer her to go to their anthill with them. The procession continues, but now the ladybug sits on top of the box with the leader of the ants, who owes her his life. Once out on a high rock, the leader of the ants sends a signal to the ant colony to wait for them with their precious cargo. Soon the company is spotted by a gang of aggressive red ants. With the look of seasoned criminals, they block the black ants' way and stare sweetly at the sugar box. The leader of the black ants asks his fellow ants to stop. He takes one sugar cube from the box and presents it to the red ants. He then quickly runs away and commands his team to take the box away. The red ants are furious that they didn't get all the sugar. They chase the black ants with their cargo. The black ants notice it the moment they approach a steep slope. They climb up the box, rock it, and push it down. The box quickly descends the slope. The red ants immediately find a discarded soda can. They climb inside and push the can down the slope too. The box of black ants and the can of red ants soon fall into the mountain river and move downstream. The red ants are relentless in their pursuit despite the rapids and obstacles. Due to a strong push, the ladybug falls out of the box into the water. Here a pike spots it and begins its chase. The ladybug is swiftly carried downstream. The pike runs into some rocks but continues to swim after its prey. The black ants decide to save their new friend. They grab hold of each other and form a chain. This is how they sink into the water and retrieve the ladybug. Now they see a massive waterfall in their path. The insects quickly climb inside the box and fall from the great height. A pike and a jar of red ants fly after them. 
The pike and the jar get stuck at the bottom, but the red ants manage to float up. The black ants and the ladybug get the surviving sugar cubes from the box and continue on their way to the anthill. As they continue walking, the ladybug hears a familiar buzzing sound. She notices a flock of her kind nearby. The ladybug tries to fly up to them, but one wing prevents her from staying in the air. Upset, she hurries after the ants. The following day, the red ants catch up with the black ants as they cross the roadway. The black ants take their chances and do not stop despite an approaching car. The leader of the red ants immediately launches a chase, but his fellow ants stay where they are, trembling and scattered. The black ants manage to survive the encounter with the car. Soon they successfully make it to their anthill. The ladybug goes inside too. Everyone is busy here. Each worker ant brings its harvest to the queen. If she is satisfied, she gives one egg. As soon as her uterus tastes the sugar, she goes into ecstasy and immediately lays a bunch of eggs. Meanwhile, the leader of the red ants manages to find the location of the black ants until he becomes furious and rushes to tell his queen. She orders the red ants to prepare an attack immediately. An entire horde of red ants rushes to the black ant colony bringing weapons, chestnuts, stones, slingshots, and even bug spray. Night falls. The black ant colony is quiet for now. Everyone is asleep, including the ladybug. She dreams about a family of ladybugs flying serenely over a meadow. The ladybug wakes up from longing for her family and goes to the top of the anthill. Here she discovers that her second wing has begun to grow back. This means that the ladybug will soon be able to fly again joy fills her heart. The black ants are awakened in the early morning by a growing buzz. It's a countless army of red ants approaching their anthill. They are already loading ammunition into their slingshots. The ruthless shelling of the anthill begins. The black ants try to defend themselves by dropping cotton swabs, tablets, and salt on the enemy. But the red ants' bombs do much more severe damage. Then the black ants' queen sends the leader and the ladybug to the ant scientist. Upon learning of the problem, he digs through his stash and gives his friends a box of matches and firecrackers. The black ants place the firecrackers on the roof of the anthill, but the enemy is not sleeping and is already preparing to storm the entrance to the anthill. The leader of the black ants opens the box of matches and finds only one match inside. He carefully studies the instructions on the box and lights the match. The tension makes him squint, and his antennae twist. The commander lights the firecracker. It twirls and falls on the battlefield, killing many red ants with the explosion. But the single match immediately goes out, and the enemy attacks with twice the ferocity. Then the ladybug remembers that before she met the ants, she saw a box of matches forgotten by the humans. She immediately tells the ants about it and promises to fly down to get the matches. But she needs help to start her flight. Her friends make a paper airplane for her but soon the ladybug begins to fly on her own. The black ants are very hopeful for her speedy return. The ladybug flies to the correct spot rather quickly and without much difficulty because her second wing is almost fully grown. She tries to lift the heavy box of matches, but then she sees a spider creeping in. He easily picks up the box and carries it to his lair. The ladybug follows right behind him. The spider makes it back home by evening. He lives in an abandoned tube in a toy castle. The ladybug sneaks into the spider's house. It turns out that he needs matches to fasten his web. But the ladybug doesn't have time to do anything because she is immediately grabbed by a toad watching from behind the window. The ladybug pounces with all its paws and grabs the windowsill but the toad continues to pull. Thus, the toad collapses the toy castle on itself and dies. The ladybug lies unconscious and again imagines herself flying with her family over the meadows. She soon regains consciousness in the spider's cottage. The spider, grateful for getting rid of the toad, feeds the ladybug and hands her the box of matches with understanding. The ladybug grabs the matches and flies off to help her friends. On the way, she hears the crazy laughter of the flies and sees the flies taunting another ladybug. Then she drops the matches and rushes to deal with the troublemakers. The ladybug diverts attention to herself and rushes towards the highway. A car is just passing by. The ladybug confidently flies towards it and, at the last moment, dives and avoids collision. The flies crash right into the headlight and fall to the ground, immobilized. The ladybug returns to the bug which had been hurt by the flies, exchanges pleasantries with him, and promises to return soon. Grabbing a box of matches, she heads toward the severely damaged ant hill. With a victory cry, she flies over the army of red ants and delivers the matches to the top of the ant hill. Her friends cheer her on, 
Now the ants arm themselves with matches and set off all the firecrackers. A twirl, fall to the ground and explode. Their explosions ignite the tank of ant poison. The red ants are forced to flee the battlefield, squealing pitifully. The red ants are defeated, but a real fire breaks out around the anthill. The black ants and ladybug hide in the main hall. Suddenly they hear a strange noise. A plane flies over the anthill and floods the fire with foam. The fire stops, but the foam eats away at the anthill. The surviving ants and ladybug get out from under the rubble and look around silently. Some time passes. The ladybug has grown up and returned to her friend, whom she once saved from the flies. They have five babies who have already learned to fly. The ladybug family flies over the meadow and enjoys the peace. The hard-working black ants are successfully rebuilding their anthill. The ladybug has not forgotten her ant friend. They meet in a picturesque place and enjoy the sunset together.